Hey guys, it's Felicia here and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's been a minute and I know it's been a minute, but you know, I just want to preface this video just by letting y'all know that the last vlog I posted was the Mexico vlog and I posted that like maybe two or three weeks ago. That vlog happened in December. We went to Mexico in December of 2021. So my next few videos, like I've been vlogging since then and I'm just gonna post all that content. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know that it's gonna be like jumbled up. It's not gonna be in order. Um, I take forever to put content out because I like to put things in order. I'm not doing that this time. I'm really just gonna like go with the flow. Um, so I just wanted to like give you guys a heads up, especially cause it's gonna be a lot of wedding content. So if I feel like it's necessary, I'll let you guys know when the content took place. Um, but most of the time it won't be necessary just cause like everything happened already. But I do wanna say, you guys are about to watch me try on dresses for the first time ever. That happened in, May of 2021 originally what I was going to do was take all of the like content and footage I had of me trying on dresses and just put it into one long video um, I realized that would be boring so I just decided to just start throwing them in there bit by bit so this footage you're about to see happened I want to say in May of 2021 that's important because obviously I got married july of this year and you know when i do like my wedding q a everything i'm gonna let you guys know like when you guys should start doing things so i just wanted to come on here and let y'all know like when i try on the dresses and when i do the dress footage i'll let you guys know when i did that but pretty much everything else it's just gonna be thrown in there you're all because and i'm saying this because i also put like a mini life update in there and you're gonna hear me say oh we're less than 60 days away from the wedding I don't want y'all to try to start putting pieces together like 60 days away and she just started trying on dresses but she said yes to the dress in December but like what's going on don't, don't hurt yourself don't hurt your brains because it's not gonna make sense just enjoy the content <laughs> I promise you guys um, when I do the wedding q and A, I I'll answer all the questions but I really just wanted to start like throwing things together um, and just like putting videos out there just cuz like I can breathe now I was so stressed out and I was like it content vlogging YouTube was the least of my concerns and my priority the last year and a half but I'm back and I just want to let y'all know don't worry about the timeline just enjoy the content don't try and put pieces together don't try and put dates together because it's not gonna make sense I just want to put it out there and um, I'm just gonna like put it where I think it'll look best to me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the outro now um, if you like the video, please don't forget to comment, subscribe. I have a lot more wedding content coming your way. And yeah, thank y'all for rocking with me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, it's Felicia here. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, I am going wedding dress shopping. Yay! The first wedding thing I'm setting y'all, I'm taking y'all with me to. And who is this? Oh, you're Oh, you guys cute. Thank you. What dress are you wearing? Oh, no. Yeah, so I'm going with my mom, my sisters, and Christina, and we're about to get ready to leave. I'm just gonna put like a light beat on because I don't wanna put too much makeup on because I don't wanna get makeup on these people's dresses. But I do want to have makeup on so I can kinda get as much as like the full look, the full look, like as much as like I can from the look, especially because I have my hair in braids and my hair's not even done, the middle's not done, so I just wanna be as done up as I possibly can so I can get like the most out of the look, if that makes sense. So we're just gonna do a light beat and then I will talk to y'all again when we get there. So, we're about to do the shopping. And it's gonna be so much fun, right? So we're just gonna try on a bunch of different styles to see which style like I like. I go from there. Okay, look a little happier, please. One of the best. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a excitement. Thank you. This is so nice. <laughs> 
Are you gonna cover your back in my purse? No. Yeah, I don't like all this. This one right here, when you feed it properly, it's gonna, this one is gonna be like really skinny there. And then the shoulder also is gonna be like tight like that. See, that's the one supposed to be. I love the shape this is giving. What's crazy about right here though? Like the mesh here. Uh -huh. It's a little busy on the top. This, for example, we The train is so pretty. The train is so pretty. Oh, it's pretty on the bottom too. Yeah, that's pretty. enough BBE for me it's not like this is my wedding look at me it's like I'm liking the bottom of all these dresses the tops are not giving me what they're supposed to give. You don't want it. Like, I think I like the, the first one. This one I tried them better. This, yeah. yeah. Um, she was like, oh, I don't recommend that. 
um be i don't know why she said she doesn't recommend that but she just said oh we don't recommend that um she asked me if there was anything like anything i like in any particular wedding dress so i did have a picture of a dress i saw on their website so i showed it to them and that's kind of the style that we went with throughout the whole appointment um after each and every dress i just kept telling her like hey can i try on something else or can i try on a different style can i try on a different style she just kept bringing me like different versions of the same style which was the fit and flare so um honestly i didn't like those dresses like there was only one that i really did like but it's not my dress which is why you guys got to see it <laughs> um but i just feel like i need to try on more dresses so i will be going to a few more bridal shops i don't want to drag this out and go to a bunch i don't want to be trying on a bunch of different dresses because that's how i get confused and like the indecisiveness starts i just need to try on different styles to make sure i know which style i like because i've never tried on wedding dresses before so i don't know like i can't be like i like this or i like that um more than the other because that's just that's not how i operate so i'm going to be taking y'all along with me when i go to other um bridal shops to try on different dresses hopefully i won't need to go to too many and i'll find my dress sooner rather than later and just get that done and checked off the list i'll see you guys in a few weeks when i go to my next bridal appointment i won't be going with as many people that's part of the only reason i went to this particular place because originally i was gonna go to david's bridal first just try on a couple different styles and then tr um hit up like the little boutiques to um try on like specific styles once i narrowed down my search but my sister is leaving and i wanted her to be able to experience this with us um and this particular place was the only place that would allow me to come with so many people like i called so many places and everybody it was like no you know two to four was their max i was coming with i originally said six people like six other people ended up being five who came with me and you know it worked out though it was an interesting first time like the experience was like eh. you know it wasn't like oh my god like you know i don't know it's not like what you see on say yes to the dress which obviously i knew it wasn't going to be like that but i don't know guys so i'm just gonna stop rambling and i'll see you guys soon bye <laughs> guys so it's Maricle's birthday it's my mama's birthday um i still got these in my hair because my lace is not laid yet and i can't take these out because they're like underneath this thing but we're just gonna go shopping it's just gonna be chill yesterday was janice's graduation didn't vlog forgot my camera and the um i have an apple phone forgot my camera in the hotel so yesterday was like very hectic so today for their birthdays we're just gonna chill rochelle and i are trying to advocate for pizza and ice cream We'll see. But let me show you the birthday girl. Right? Say hi. hi Say good morning. She wants it, that's why. Hi. Yeah, good morning. Hi. Hi, good morning. It's your birthday today. <laughs> Yay. Yay. How old are you? Say two. You're two. Say I'm two. I'm two. Yeah. Yeah, you're two. She doing it. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. That's right. Show YouTube your talents, girl. Two little talents. Yes, her two little talents. She's so cute. She got a heart in her hair, but I'm not gonna show y'all right now. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go outside. Tani's gonna love to see the camera. I don't know. She hasn't seen. I walked in the house yesterday. The first thing they were like, "Oh, so no vlogging." Morning. Oh, you look cute. Let me put my dress on. <laughs> he wiped it on my neck. Look at Rochelle sitting on this little toy. <laughs> she ain't got nowhere to sit. <laughs> Say hi, Tani. Oh, hi. <laughs> she loves strawberries and watermelons. You ready? 
Day weekend, and I was in Georgia over the week, as you guys saw. Over the weekend, celebrating my beautiful niece's birthday and Janice's graduation, my mama's birthday. And I'm back home, and I decided we can do a lunch and learn, and we're gonna be learning about me. So basically, just to give y'all an update about my life and you know everything, I have successfully transitioned out of the healthcare field into tech. So, I'm actually really excited. I started with my company last week. I hate eating on camera. I hate watching people eat on camera, so I don't know how this lunch and learn is gonna go. But I have to eat my food and I have an hour until my next meeting, so. It's gonna be a lot of pauses and a lot of cuts. And so I work in tech sales, and I started at my company last week, and I work for a startup company. And I'm just really excited. Like, my company is so amazing. Um, so, they paid for my lunch today love that for me and how did I get into this role so I actually went through a um, recruiting company called Vendition found them on TikTok um, decided to try it out see if it was like you know real or not worth it or not and guys it was like the best decision I, I made for myself you truly get in what you get out of it what you put into it so I was doing like a lot of like I went through four interviews four whole interviews and I got hired into this company and I just couldn't be more excited. Excited for my new start because if you know, if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you know how much I've been hating my company, like my job as a dental assistant. And how ready I was to just move on and try something new and something different. So yeah, I got my new and I got my different. Let me go check on my potatoes. I got my potatoes. First watch, if you guys have never had first watch, um, they're good. See if they're in your area. I really like them. But their potatoes don't be crispy enough for me. Like, it's all soggy. Basically, um, what else has been going on? We are less than 60 days away from my wedding. And I am just ready for it to be over and done with. I'm so excited. Um, so just finally get married. <laughs> I'm done with this. Like, wedding planning is just not it. I hated every part of wedding planning just because it was just I'm not gonna say every part it was just very stressful to me um and I just didn't I don't like wedding planning so 60 days away and I am so excited it's nice to see like everything coming together for the wedding um because we're like in the 
final stages now so it's really nice to see that but I'm just I'm excited for it to be done I like the planning part because I'm just tired of making decisions like I have such wedding fatigue I'm tired of making decisions like I don't like doing this because every day it's another decision you have to make um yeah, guys there was so much more I planned to talk about but I just really need to eat hey guys so we're making bridesmaid proposal boxes today so I got these white boxes from Amazon. They came in a set of 11. I got this brown paper shred from Party City. I believe they were like 99 cents each. I got them these gold bracelets with um, their initials on them. I got these from a shop in Etsy. Um, and I just thought they were cute to wear on the wedding day. And then I got these little like bags to put them in. I got these from Michaels. I got these wine tumblers from Amazon and then I got their name decals from Etsy. So I also made this on Canva. It's just like, will you tie the knot with me kind of thing. So we're gonna start off, I washed all the cups and I let them dry overnight. And I peeled off the decal and I'm just using a card to like stick it around. The decal came with instructions, so I was just following the instructions. So we're gonna let that set for a little bit while, while I build the boxes. The boxes were very easy to build. If you ever had Chinese takeout, it just felt like you were putting together a Chinese takeout box, but they were also very sturdy. So I do wanna say like they were good boxes for the price. So after I built the boxes, I, I had one bag of paper shred for each box. So I made five boxes and I bought six um, paper shreds just so I can, just in case. I put their bracelets in the little bag and I cut out the like, um, I can't tie the knot without you beside me thing. I was originally gonna glue it onto the box, but I decided not to simply because I didn't have glue and I wanted to get these boxes done today. <laughs> um, and then your, I did like my name on a cup as the trial run. So this is what the finished boxes will look like on the inside. Now I'm just gonna carefully peel off the sticker on Alicia's cup. I'm just showing you guys how I did it because I didn't show you on my cup because my cup was a tester cup. So I carefully peeled it off and these things are stuck on there. Hand wash only, obviously. Don't put them in the dishwasher. But they're stuck on there. And I didn't give them much stuff. Like I've seen the bridemaids proposal boxes where they like fill it to the brim, but we're definitely like a budget bride here. And all of these people who are getting them, they're all considered my sisters. So they'll appreciate whatever I give them. Then I bought this um, thread twine. I got this from Party City as, no, from Michaels. And I'm just gonna make a little bow um, on the box because I just, I liked the way it looked. I was originally gonna get ribbon, but as I was walking through the aisles, I saw this and honestly it was also cheaper than the ribbon. And I was like, I actually like this. Like, I don't know, it kind of fit with the boohoo theme I was going with, but yes. Um, honestly, you can fill these boxes with whatever you want. I filled it with, like, I'm big on giving my girls stuff that they'll actually reuse. Like, I've been a bridesmaid in the past where I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff that says bridesmaid on it that I can't really wear out in public again. Or that says, like, it's just, I, I want people to have stuff they can reuse, which is why I got the wine tumblers. Because they can also put water in it or juice or whatever, like, not just wine. Um, and then the bracelets are cute just because, like has their initial on it so they can wear it wherever so really just fill these things up with what's meaningful to you what makes sense to you and what's in your budget that's the most important because I didn't want to go way over budget just giving them stuff you know like stuff that doesn't make sense um and that was the theme I held throughout my entire wedding was especially like when I bachelorette trip and everything it's stuff that they can reuse and not just stuff just to have so, cause I know a lot of people were like, oh, you didn't really give them much. Guys, I didn't have much money. Like, please, we, we, we're paying for a wedding. Like, I love my girls. I really do. And in my wedding q and I'm going to go into the whole topic of technically my bridesmaids. Cause they're not even technically my bridesmaids, but I don't want to get you guys confused. Um, but yeah, it, it was, it was a struggle. Um, but it wasn't, it didn't have to be. That's the thing. Like, it wasn't a struggle. Let me rephrase that. It was a struggle defending my decision to other people, but my girls understood. They supported everything I did, and this was just like a small token of appreciation. So here, I just like um, 
I believe the boxes came with these little circle stickers. I just put one over the box just to close it. Um, but that's really the end of it. So thank y'all so much for watching. And yeah. Mm -hmm.